Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go, fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Field Trips vlog. So on this one, I just got to Greenville, South Carolina, or Greenville, if you're from here or from the South. Uh, I am here for the Bass Master Classic. So this is a legendary, historic event in the world of fishing. Someone will be crowned the best bass angler in the universe. I've never been to this event. I thought it would be cool. I was, I was pretty close to here, so I ran up here for the event. Uh, I'm gonna go check out the Expo, which is where a bunch of manufacturers uh, put products on display, they discount them. I think like 100,000 people walk through this Expo. And then obviously we're gonna go to the weigh-in, see the winner get crowned. Historic night in bass fishing, y'all. Should be a good time. Okay, so we just got to the Bassmaster Classic Expo. This basically goes on during the three tournament days. While the competitors are out fishing, they've got this expo. All the big brands in fishing, from boats to fishing rods to power pole, to everyone that you can think of that's big in the fishing industry, is here. They've got booths set up. It's open to the public. It's free. I hear that like 100,000 people are going to walk through this thing in the next three days. And all the companies are offering discounts on their products. Gotta come check this thing out. If, if the Bass Bunch Classic's ever in your area, totally worth coming out here if you like fishing. Be surrounded by tens of thousands of people that have a passion for fishing just like we do. Madhouse. So cool to see this many people that are passionate about fishing, passionate about our sport in one place. It's hard to walk around. There's so many people here. What a crowd, huh? You know, the good part is I get to be here to see everybody else at the show. So. Look who we got here. The man, the myth, the legend, Chad Hoover. Right. Hey, what's up, dude? All right guys, so we're here in the Lowrance booth. Uh, Lowrance, these are electronics that I use on my boat. I've got the Lowrance Elite 7. I'm here with Matthew. He's gonna show us how the new Fish Reveal technology works. Yeah, so Fish Reveal is a new feature included in our, our latest software update we just put out. Uh, Fish Reveal, what you're seeing here, it actually takes a sonar uh, picture, deconstructs it, pulls all the individual fish arches out, uh, and then we do some cool stuff to, to manipulate them a little bit, and then we combine them with downscan. So you get the really nice resolution, high detail pictures from downscan, combined with your really big fish arches. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. So it kind of like amplifies those arches? Yeah, yeah, we turn the volume up on them a little bit, so they show up a little Right, nice. that kind of stuff. And um, I think I saw the it's a different color too, right? Don't they have kitchen yeah, yeah, highlight? Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's a contrasting color to whatever you have on, on right. down skin. So they show up really nice. Which is and cool. it only does it for individual, real individual, like game fish. Right, right. It doesn't do it for bait fish. It doesn't pull, you know, trees and structure across. Nice. It gives you the ability to see, like in a school of bait fish on regular sonar, where you can tell where the real fish, fish are. But now you can see the bait fish in down scan, and you can see the cool fish arches on fish reveal at the same nice. time. Super cool because in the past they've had that like fish ID thing where it like puts a little symbol of fish. But what I hated about that is it like covered up the actual, the actual arch, yeah. the actual mark, and I want to be able to kind of decide for myself if I think it, you know. So this is cool. It really highlights it, but still you can actually see what you're looking at. Yeah. Very slick, man. Yeah. It's Thanks, awesome. Matthew. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Alright guys, so I'm here at the O'Meals booth. If you didn't see my vlog about getting the trailer wrap, O'Meals are basically self-heating meals. This one just kicked off. Basically all you have to do is add water to this. There's a self-heating element. It'll heat itself up, no need to boil water, and you can get a hot meal in five minutes. It's basically the only way to get a hot meal on the kayak, on your boat, wherever you're fishing camping, hiking, hunting, you name it, you can get a hot meal on the go. Uh, the water never touches the food, it's not dehydrated food. They taste incredible, super convenient, takes five minutes. Oatmeals, guys, check them out. I eat these things in the trailer, on the kayak, all over the place. This will be ready in about five minutes, this is gonna be lunch. 
right guys, so this is the Go RVing booth, GoRVing.com. What they do is basically promote the RV and lifestyle, so obviously living out of a toy hauler full time, super relevant for me. I'd actually never heard of this, so I just got here, but I just talked to uh, one of their representatives. Super cool what they're doing. They're trying to get more people in RVs, show more people the lifestyle, and uh, they work at events all around the country, and here they are at the Bassmaster Classic. If you want to learn more about living in an RV, living in a toy hauler, just having one for the weekends, anything like that, check out GoRVing.com. All right, guys, so now we're here with Chad Warford. He has got one of the most tricked out kayaks I've ever seen. He's utilized a ton of Night Eyes products in really creative ways to make his boat super organized, super efficient. I'm going to be stealing like half these ideas at least. So Chad, would you mind running us through Absolutely. the boat? This will be fun. Perfect. So one of the first things that we're going to show you are gear ties. This this kayak is, is stocked full of gear ties. And what's a gear tie? A gear tie is basically a twist tie on steroids and it's reusable, it's waterproof, it's UV protected. And what I'm going to show you here is how we tie it on a light up here at the, uh, up here at the bow. You can tie on lights, you can tie one of the craziest things that I use it for if you're using a drop shot. If you're using a, an A-Rig, you can actually use the smaller six inch to tie those around. The unique thing about this kayak is that it doesn't have a cup holder on it. So I used our new Traveler, but how do you put the Traveler on the kayak? I use these gear ties to actually strap it to the rail of the seat down here. Cord management, huge in a kayak because if you get cords, you know, if, if you're pedaling this kayak and the cords get in your way, you're going to rip it out, you're going you're gonna to mess it up. So cord management is critical, not only on the outside of the kayak, but, but also on the inside where the batteries are. Another idea for, for gear ties is we have, a, we have a loopable, and you'll see some of the larger loopables on the uh, tackle box back here. The nice thing about the loopables is they stay on, they don't fall off. If you need to get into the, into the box, you just unhook it and, and move the gear tie aside and get, get your tackle, and then put it back when you're, when you're done with it. So the next cool items are lighting. Anybody that fishes early morning for either tournament fishing, fun fishing, knows that fish bite the best early in the morning, especially spring and, and, and summertime. And so if you're retying, if, you're, if you just need cockpit lighting, things like that, we have a couple of cool items. The first one I want to show you is, is our Moonlit. Our Moonlit clips on basically anywhere you want to, on the s beaner on your life jacket, and it's got 360 degrees of rotation on it. So you can actually point it down when you're working down here, or you can point it out whenever you're, whenever you, if you want to be seen. Just, just so many good uses with the Microlite uh, Moonlit. So the next item is the Buglet. It, this is a fun item that's been with Night Eyes for a very, very long time, but, but the uses in a kayak are unbelievable because we take our, our gear tie technology and you can wrap this light around anything and you'll see down here I've got it I've got it wrapped around uh, the seat rail and and I can actually move it around and articulate it a little bit and position it where I need to tremendous light it doesn't overwhelm you whenever you're, you're early morning uh, but it does provide enough light to you to where you can see and light up your cockpit so the next item is the the radiant 100 I love this light because it's soft it's squishy you can put it in a pack and it's not gonna break and the nice thing is that you have a red light I actually use this driving down the road as well I have it on a steely system the radiant you have a um, there's the red light and then you've got the bright white and then a lower light so it doesn't blind you but it's 360 degrees of lighting so you can be seen from basically any direction and that's critical especially if you're rolling early early in the morning with the light I, I do everything I can in a kayak to be seen. Yeah, and you could stick that on a pole up above you and it could act as your 360 light to be legal at night. 100%. And I like absolutely. that idea, use that the red mode on the back of your kayak when you're driving down the road instead of a flag so no one slams in your kayak at absolutely. night. Absolutely, and again, 360 degree visibility. I love it. So one of the most versatile items on the kayak is uh, is our s beaners. We have locking, non-locking, marine grade, you name it for saltwater purposes. Some of the many uses that I use on this kayak is to hold my tools on the T-Rain. You can see down here, I've got a locking carabiner here with all the tools and lights and things like that. And it makes it super, super easy to get to a particular tool. And if you've got to remove it, if you're parked somewhere, you don't want to get things stolen, it's easy to remove as well. You just unlock it, unclip it, and you're done. The other use is, is here with the OtterBox. Obviously with tournaments, you've got to have your phone with you. And so in order to keep your phone charged, I've got a charging system inside the otter box and well we use the empty space on the back of the kayak to make sure that it's accessible with the s beaters on uh, hooking that onto the back of the chair 
The other way is I've got a, a rain gear in my uh, dry bag here. I've actually used a couple of different carabiners. You, you can see here, this is the marine grade espinas that are locking. And again, it holds up to salt water extremely well. That's what it's made for. Uh, but again, it's accessible. It's right there. I can unclip it, go, and it's really fast. You know, one of the things that a lot of people, you know, just, just that aha moment on how you use an espinas is just literally clipping your bait bags onto an S meter and putting it right inside that bait box. It makes it extremely organized. And again, accessibility, that's huge in a kayak. You gotta have everything close to you. These type of tools make that job really easy. One of the most useful tools in the, in the whole kayak is a cam jam. It makes putting, taking on and taking off the tackle box extremely quick and easy. Loading up a kayak is probably what takes the most time when you get to the launch site. So I like to be as quick as, as possible. I don't have a lot of patience. So made easy with our cam jam technology. So um, on this kayak, I actually have four plastic ones. And how you use this one is you just simply connect this to any, any spot on the tackle box. And it's really easy. You don't have to tie a knot at all. So all you do is click this up, adjust the length that you want, and then click it back down, and, and, and the cord's not gonna go anywhere. Super versatile, I mean, tying stuff down in your truck bed, tying like a tarp down when you're camping. I mean, there's a million uses for something like there that. There is. Yeah. I use them all over the trailer for all kinds of stuff. So the next thing I wanna talk to you about is one of the, one of the components of the Steely family that we have for, for phone mounts. This is, this is our new rail and bar mount. Having your phone accessible and not falling into the water is a critical, critical element of being, being in a kayak. And so, and how the Steely system works is the back of, uh, you use a neodymium magnet on the back of the phone. It's a rare earth magnet and you simply stick it to the bar mount. So with the Steely bar mount, you can also use the silicone harness to actually give a little bit more confidence that, that it's gonna hold on there and not drop into the water or drop your phone or anything like that. The bar mount can fit on anything from a stroller to the rail of, of a kayak, any boat, any golf cart. A lot of different uses for the new Steely rail and bar mount. This guy even uses gear ties as wheel chocks. Million uses for these things. All right, guys, so I hope you guys took away as much from that as I have. Um, super creative ways to rig out your kayak, make your life more organized, more efficient on the water. If you are a tournament angler, uh, actually next week I'll be at the Kayak Bass Fishing National Championship with a bunch of tournament anglers. If you're a tournament angler, I know you just saw some ideas that'll make your life more efficient on tournament day. Make sure you get those photos of your fish without them jumping out of the kayak. Um, just a million uses. That's what I've always said about these Night Eyes products is that they're so versatile. If you're a DIYer, any kind of rigger, um, if you just like to tinker, whether you hunt, fish, hike, camp, you live in a trailer, around your house, there's a million uses for this stuff. Um, Chad here just, I mean, he's giving me like a hundred ideas. I literally half filmed this to show you guys what he just showed us and half filmed it so that I can go home and remember all the stuff he's tricked out his kayak with because I want to do the same. So night eyes guys, check them out. The gear ties have a million uses. I tell people they're like duct tape. You can use them for anything. Uh, the S beaners have a million uses. I've got them all over my trailer, all over my kayak. Uh, you got to check this stuff out. I, I told these guys when I met them, like kayak anglers are going to love your brand and your product line because this stuff can be used in a million different ways. So I uh, hope you guys found that useful. Comment below if you have any cool ideas for how to use gear ties or carabiners or something like that on your kayak, or if you just have a cool way that you rigged something out or tricked out your boat, I'd love to hear about it. Please comment below or apply to every single one. I want to hear what you got. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed checking out the expo a little bit. I mean, there's probably about a million things I can show you, but uh, this will be an hour long video. This uh, expo is enormous, I had no idea how big the Classic Expo was, but time for me to leave because I'm heading to the weigh-in. Today is Sunday, third day of the tournament, and they will be announcing the winner of the 2018 Bassmaster Classic. I have a feeling it's going to be a madhouse in there. Here, I can get this for you. All right, so the weigh-in is about 10 minutes from here. It's at a different place, the Ben Secours Wellness Arena. I don't know, I don't know what that is, but uh, can you head over there? See who wins this thing. I got a feeling it's gonna be pretty crazy. All right, made it here to the classic. As predicted, I did have to park about a mile away. But I got me a beer. We can go find a seat. See what this thing's all about. My first time at this thing. Uh, should be pretty cool. But we're gonna pick a winner. That seat has already been chosen. It's in my hand. When one amazing competitor's lifelong dream comes true in another.
other one is crushed. Three time Bassmaster Cup. And all the things that went wrong in the past, well, they start to go so, so right. And before you know it, you're holding the hammer. And holding this hammer is so damn good. Obviously, it looks like this might be the most attended classic in Bassmaster history. This wasn't my time. I got nothing but compliments for Joe Lee. And I was watching Brent Ayler up here and I was thinking, man, I'm supposed to get beat by a guy wearing skinny jeans and that's gonna hurt. I mean, I know Luke Bryan looks good in him and I'm just mad that I don't look as good as Ayler does in him. I'm just frustrated. If I put on skinny jeans, I'd look like McDonald's straws. I just can't do it. He had them Chuck Taylors on. I thought we was gonna play basketball in an old gym, slide across the wood floor and shoot from the foul line. I just I'm mad that I don't look like that. I'm bow-legged and broke leg, can't hardly walk. People think I just got a swagger. I said, no, I got a bad leg. I'm a pimp with a limp, and I'm proud to be here. Thank you, Toyota. See you guys. in Bassmaster Classic history last year, and is trying to make a giant comeback here today. Looking for 15 pounds, six ounces. If you can't stand the heat, don't come in the kitchen. 16 pounds, five ounces. 16 pounds, guys well got to witness history today Jordan Lee the third ever back-to-back -back winner of the Bassmaster Classic insane what a historic event uh, I really did not know what to expect here at the Classic and uh, I've never felt energy like that in anything in the fishing industry in my whole life uh, just incredible to witness what an incredible experience to be here I feel very blessed that uh, my travels kind of brought me here to South Carolina for this event. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Field Trips Vlog. I hope you guys dug it. The Bassmaster Classic, legendary event. If it ever rolls through your town, you need to get there. Super cool. Pretty much everything was free. I think parking was like five bucks. But other than that, to attend the weigh-in, to attend the expo, it was all free of charge. Highly recommend it. But now it's time for me to load up. I am heading to Paris, Tennessee for another bass tournament, this time out of kayaks. Another historic night on the horizon. Chad Hoover's Kayak Bass Fishing National Championship is set to pay out $100,000 to one angler for catching a handful of little green fish from a plastic boat. Unbelievable. Get this thing hitched up, start this eight hour journey to Northern Tennessee.